Why do old PCs have a key switch on the front? What does it do? It's a question you may not hear very often, but I'm here to give you an answer. Maybe not the definitive answer, but an answer nonetheless. The key lock is an electrical switch that either connects or disconnects two pins on the key lock header that tell the motherboard to disregard or ignore all keyboard input. Now I say connects or disconnects because there was no strict standard. I saw some boards that required the pins to be connected for the keyboard to work and some boards that required it to be disconnected for the keyboard to work. Likewise the key switches didn't adhere to any standard. Some switches had the contacts closed when in the locked position, some had them open. This particular machine has the contacts open when in the locked position, so the key has to be like this for the keyboard to actually work. Let's get a demonstration. Okay, we're at the DOS prompt. Key is in the locked position. Type a key on the keyboard. Keyboard works. I have backspace. All right. Now turn the key. Nothing on the keyboard. It's just that simple. In the Pentium era, the key switch had largely disappeared, but you could still find a few holdouts. For example, this Pentium board also has a key lock connector, but note also that the keyboard and power connector are the old AT style. Of course, AMD also used the key lock. Here's the manual for a motherboard that could take an Athlon XP processor. And right here we see that it takes the keyboard lock lead. Some cases have a lock and some do not. And for the most part, there seems to be only one key that fits every lock, such as this mini tower. and this generic desktop case. But not the Gold Star 386. It took a much bigger key. Where the key is now, who knows. This industrial PC increases its security by having the keyboard lock behind a lockable front panel. It goes without saying that the key can be removed when it's in either position. Sometimes not easily. Why did the key switch quietly disappear? Well, I really don't know. Could have been indifference better software methods of locking up your PC. The key switch did not have the ability to lock out the mouse. There could be a whole host of other reasons. Anyway, thanks for watching and see you next time.